Hi guys, VST here, Valentin Tech. I did several videos yesterday showing you the S22 Ultra, doing some tests using the out of the box firmware, which in my case was with a security patch from January, and then doing a throttle test, right? And using also the S21 Ultra to just show you the difference of the performance and of course the stability at the moment, right? At this point of time. The very main factor is that the S22 Ultra is a brand new device and the S21 Ultra has already had more than 20 stable updates, right? This should not be really something that a user should a big concern of when you're paying like this top amount of money for a phone but this is the truth right now with most of the android devices smartphones specifically the ones that samsung produce they're not bad right but right from the beginning they're not launched with let's say the best optimization and there is of course the exynos and the snapdragon story right then i installed guys the latest called day one update which is again featuring security patches from march and I did some tests, I did Anti2, I did Gitbench, I did also 3D Mark Live showing you guys the results between the very first out of the box software with the main one. And my conclusion was, and I was seeing Samsung doing some attempts of sacrificing this peak performance for getting a bit more sustained performance. But the only way for this to be verified is through a CPU thermal throttling test, right? And that's what I'm gonna do in this video, guys. Okay, so this time on this phone, again, the barebone setup, VST barebone setup, no gestures, no SIM card, no Samsung account, no fancy apps, nothing, just pure phone out of the box, updated to the very latest software, AVBF. I'm gonna go here inside the options, all right, and I'm gonna go for 60 minutes, okay? So the idea is probably the phone will just collapse before doing this or my recording will stop, but I wanna really do as much as I can and just capture this on the video for, of course, your viewing pleasure, All right? And now that's the moment and the part of the video where you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, well done. So I'm gonna hit here save, okay? I am gonna click on start test and yeah may our blessings be with the s22 ultra we begin
and now it is at the 45 minutes mark where we can really say for real the Samsung S22 Ultra throttle really like for the first time severely dropping to 61-62% of the performance well let's see 14 more minutes to the one hour mark but I'm really happy that we uh, did this test guys that we are still doing this test to just prove a point and um, overall I am only about to say that I'm not so dissatisfied with what I see that's already a lot of time and it's already a lot of strain and you have to understand this is really how phones or at least some of the phones work when the heat becomes too much performance has to be sacrificed for the sake of the phone still being able to operate of course at some point the phone just can drop the performance so drastically that it just of a non-use and yeah that's severe throttling that's the not the case right now right but i'm really happy that we seen these only about after the 45 minute mark all right let's keep going 14 13 more minutes to go Here we are guys, test has finished just now. This is the result, CPU throttled to 63% of its max performance. The first time I only did it for 20 minutes with the software that was out of the box, the January one, and the result was 73, so it is 10% worse, but it ran three times longer, right? So we have to appreciate the moment. Performance of a time graph is here, and all these intervals here, all these blocks are representing 10 minutes. So the first 10 minutes performance was dropping and then 20, 30, 40, like 30 minutes in a row performance was more or less the same. And then it was the last 20 minutes where we had a hit. So here this drop was at exactly 45 minutes mark where we just went from like 80% performance to yeah, what we see here, 63% performance. But it then still was stable. This one we get 60 minutes torture throttling test on my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra Exynos 2200 running the latest March firmware, all right? So this is the so-called day one update, 800 megabytes, apparently a lot of things are fixed. I'm now going to take the phone in my hand and you know, this is kind of like the strange situation, guys. The phone doesn't even feel so hot, right? And that's, I think, quite normal and obvious given the fact that here at around the 45 minutes, we just, you know, lost 15% of the performance, right? So this is again the graphics. I am really hoping that you enjoy videos like this. It's now your time to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit me down below in the comments if you want me to test something else, guys. Please, you and your family stay safe. Uh, yeah, just keep my fingers crossed for Samsung to stabilize the S22 series and specifically the Ultra, right? For the optimal and of course the top performance experience that we all deserve and that this great phone deserves. VST over and bye.